Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to correctly add on-click listeners to each of the items within your recycler view. This should be super easy to do, so let's get started. In the last video, we set up this recycler view here, right? Pretty simple, the most basic recycler view you could ever have. If we click on any of these items, nothing happens. So you can hear me, I'm clicking away on arginine and we get nothing. Now, by the end of the video, we should have our recycler view responding to user clicks. So in my case, if I click on arginine, we have a new activity loaded and we get some more information about the molecule. If I go back, we could come down, let's click on, let's say tryptophan, this is a pretty good one. We get some more information about the tryptophan molecule. Now, how do we even get started with this? The first thing we're gonna do is create an interface. So let's come over to the far left, come down to this base most folder that's holding your main activity. We're going to right click on it, new Java class like usual, but this time make sure you select the interface option right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just call this recycler view interface. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and then hit enter again. And you should have something that looks very similar to this. Now, what is an interface? Essentially, it's a contract between any class that implements it, and it's just making sure that that class has whatever methods are listed within our interface. Now, what methods do we wanna define within our interface? And unfortunately, the answer to that question is, it depends on what you wanna do. In our case, we wanna to respond to user clicks on each of the items within the recycler view. So we should define a method within our interface that's gonna be responsible for that. To create this method, we're gonna type in void, because we don't want it to return anything, and we need to pick a name next for this method. I'm gonna call it on item click because that just makes the most sense, but you can go ahead and call it whatever you want. And then this method should also take in a position, and that'll make more sense once we start writing some more code. All right, sweet, we're about a third of the way done with this whole process. Now that we have our interface defined, let's go over to the main activity or wherever your recycler view is created, and we're going to scroll all the way up to the top, and we're going to type in the following. Implements the recycler view interface. So I'm gonna come down, hit enter, and we should get a little error message right here. If you hover over it, you get this little dialog box, click on implement methods, or you could come over to the red light bulb and click on implement methods there. Now we only have one method defined in our interface, so make sure you have that one selected and then click OK. And Android Studio should add in the following code for you. Then all the code that you want executed when the user clicks on an item should be placed within the on item click method we have here. Now before I go ahead and write all that mumbo jumbo, what I want to do is go over to the Recycler View adapter class and write the code we need in there. So let's come over to that class and scroll all the way up to the top and we need to define a variable to hold our recycler view interface. So I'm gonna type in private final, the recycler view interface, I'm just gonna call it recycler view interface, and then we need to add this to our constructor. So we're gonna add a constructor parameter of type recycler view interface, just gonna call it recycler view interface to keep things simple, and then we're gonna do the usual, this dot recycler view interface equals the interface that was passed in. So recycler view interface. So now that we have this variable populated with whatever's passed into our constructor, we're gonna come down to the constructor of our inner class. Then within here, what we need to do is attach an on-click listener to our item view. To do this, pretty simple, we type in item view dot set on-click listener is gonna equal the new view dot on-click listener. And within here, what we need to do is perform a few checks. The first check we should do is make sure that the recycler view interface isn't null. So we could type in if the recycler view interface does not equal null. Now looking at this, you could see that we have an error right here. This is because our inner class is static. We don't have access to this variable here. Now one way to get around this error that we have is to make this class non-static. So if we come back down, you can see the error message is gone, but this isn't recommended make sure you keep this class static. The way we get around this is by coming up to the constructor of our my view holder and passing in the recycler view interface. So we could type in the recycler view interface, recycler view interface, and if we come down to the on click, you could see the error is gone. Now that we know that our recycler view interface isn't null, we need to grab the position from our adapter because if we come back to the interface, that is needed for our on click method. So let's come back over. We can grab that position by typing in int position, set that equal to get adapter position. And then we can come down here and we need to make sure that this position is valid. So we can type in position does not equal the recycler view dot no position. And then if this is valid, we want to call this method we have defined within our interface. 
So we type in the recycler view interface dot on item click and we're going to pass in the position that we extracted from our adapter. So that is everything you need in the on click listener. Now there's a few things we need to fix within our adapter class. Since we created this extra constructor parameter, we need to come up to the on create view holder and pass in this recycler view interface. So we're going to go comma recycler view interface. And then that should fix all the errors within our recycler view adapter class. But if we go back over to the main activity, if we scroll up, you can see we have an error when we're setting up our adapter. That's because we also added in an extra parameter to our constructor, the recycler view interface. So going back to the main activity, since we implemented the recycler view interface, all we have to do is pass in this and the error should be gone. So that should be everything you need to respond to user clicks for your recycler view items. The very last thing I have to do is write all the code to swap over to a new activity when an item is clicked. I'm going to go ahead and just cut to that so you don't have to watch me do it. If you want to know how to swap to a new activity, be sure to check the video I posted on how to do that. But I don't think any of you want to watch me write all that code, so I'll be back. Okay, so I wrote all the code that we needed for the on item click to swap over to a new activity. So I just want to explain what I did here. All I did was set up a new intent to swap over from the main activity to main activity two. I extracted the information from our amino acid model based on whatever position was given to us by the adapter. Now, this isn't the best way to go about doing it. You should create a parsable here and pass that over to the main activity two. But for the sake of this video, I just did it this way because it's so much easier. So then we just start up that activity, come over to main activity two. Then in the main activity, I just extracted all the variables that I passed over. And again, use a parsable to pass over that object so your code doesn't look like this. Then I grabbed all of the text views and image views, stored them within variables. So all these guys here from the main activity 2.xml layout, I grabbed all of these views that I set up in here, stored them within the Java code, and then I just assigned their values based on what I extracted from the intent. And I did change up the amino acid model class really quick. I added a description to be stored within our model class, added a getter, added something to the constructor, and that's about it. So let's come over to the far right, click the play button to make sure that I did everything right. So here's our recycler view video 13. If I scroll down here, let's click on proline. If we click it, a new activity loads up. We have our image of the molecule and a little description. I can go back and click on any one of these and we get more information about the molecule. So that's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions about what I did at any point during this video, including the sped up portion, you can always leave a comment down below or message me on Discord, link to the server down in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.